I've been happily married for three years, but I've been noticing something that I no longer think is a coincidence. I've been getting a lot more attention from ladies ever since I got married. I was never a real lady killer in the first place. That's good. Uh, but I did all right. Since I've been married, however, I've gotten flirted with much, much more than I ever did when I was single. What's up with that? Mike. So Mike cool. is Mike's now killing, killing ladies. Yeah. That's really cool because um, as a chronically single male, uh, that's like the one thing that I have. That's like the one leg up is that like I have the opportunity to do that if I wanted to, but I don't and you do and you can't use it. So that's cool that you're just so – you just have this embarrassment of lady attention. That's I'm really happy for you, Mike. Griffin, have you, have you considered putting a ring on it? That's some. That's like that. Adam. The Adam Sandler is making a movie about that, and I try to live my life avoiding any phony baloney <laughs> Adam Sandler movie scenarios. Except um, for the time that I sold you that magical re- remote control. There for was that, and I did. I did go back to elementary school at the age of like twenty five. So, um, yeah. No, we Matt. Really worried during that time period, by the way. Yeah, and that was only that was only to recruit for your jump rope team. So I don't think that that's, <laughs> it's not the same thing. Well. I, here's here's my thinking on this is that it's not that I I would like to believe enough in humanity that it's not that every woman is attra- instantly attracted to a guy because he is married, but I think it's more that you become more comfortable. You're not trying to impress anyone. I mean, you've already got you know your significant other, so you're not working at it, which instantly makes you more attractive. Like, so true. That's it. A hundred percent. If every single guy listening to the show can take away one thing, it is if you just relax and stop working, it makes you so much cooler. Like, women will like you so much more if you're not trying to impress them. Brain married. That's what I call it. You gotta be brain married. I like that. I like that a lot. How deep, how deep does that, that inception go, though? Like, I mean, I need, a, obviously, a name for my brain wife, right? Mm-hmm. I would need a name and, like, a story of how we met... How I, yeah. met my, how I met your brain mother. Like, <laughs> I'm saying I can, I can invent an entire scenario around a, a person and then not let anybody know about it except for me. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. can do that. Like, I've played Dungeons and Dragons. I'm, I'm totally capable of suspending entire, you know, worlds in my mind's well, eye. And, and it's what, ironic. ironic. Those two, do, those two yeah. skills dovetail so nicely. Yes. <laughs> because I know that when I'm trying to stop impressing women, the first thing I do is talk about Dungeons and Dragons. Hi. And that, and you know what? A lot of people try to keep this bra- their brain wife secret. I, I say, yeah, open with it. I say, hi, my name is Griffin. I have an imaginary wife and a great skill at playing Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to dance with me? And and you know something? Um, my favorite December album is the Brain Wife. So <laughs> I just wanted oh. to. I thought I'd kill that conversation. Yeah. Thanks, Griffin. Yeah, you did it. Mission accomplished.